houseplants are a great way for beginner gardeners to get started. Unfortunately, the biggest barrier to success is when people pick the wrong plants for their light conditions. For example, I live in an apartment with mostly north-facing windows. I have this beautiful plant stand, but I was using all the wrong plants. Today I'm going to show you some of the new plants I've chosen for my low light conditions in my apartment. The easiest way to pick out the best low light plants is to just take a look at the tag whenever you're buying. These I would never would have thought were low light plants because they look kind of tropical, but when I looked at the tag it says low light, one to two hours of indirect light per day. This is a bromeliad and most of them are tropical and need more light, but there are a couple varieties that actually do really well as low light house plants. This is called a dragon tree, and even though it looks kind of like a palm, it does really well in low light conditions. This here is an arrowhead vine, and it looks pretty small, but that's because I just grew it from a cutting of a friend of mine using some miracle Grow rooting hormone. This is one of the most popular house plants probably because it does so well in low lights. This is called Golden Pothos, and what you'll see is the leaves look kind of dark green here, but some of them get a little bit more color variation, and that comes from getting a little bit more light exposure. But it does really well in low light. The only difference is it gets a little bit more color variation if you put it in more bright light. And down here we have a peace lily. And this is one of my favorites because peace lilies are really good at purifying your air. Actually, all houseplants do a really good job of being kind of a natural air filter as they absorb CO2. But peace lilies are really particularly good at removing toxins from your air. This one looks kind of small, but that's because I picked out a small one from a nursery. These little flowers you see here will actually get to be pretty big once my plant grows up. Now that you've learned the best plant varieties for thriving in low light conditions, all you need to do is remember to feed and water to keep them healthy. I like miracle Grow Liquifeed because it comes with this dosing spoon. If you're like me and you only have a handful of house plants, it's a lot easier to just use this with a watering can than with a hose. Remember to feed every 7 to 14 days with miracle Grow Liquifeed. Now I'm going to show you one more place to put these great low light plants. Another great place for low light house plants is around your office. You'd be surprised what a great job they do of both decorating and since the plants are absorbing CO2, they help make for a more productive work environment. Here we have a more mature arrowhead vine, which is like the plant that I'm growing from a cutting at home in my apartment. And back here we have a snake plant, which is a really resilient house plant for low light conditions. So they're great for beginners. Thanks for watching. Remember to check back often for more tips and videos for gardening indoors and out.